packing from the open guard, kind of a fun one that we used to do every now and then where Daniel's sitting up here. Okay. And for whatever reason, he's taking this hand and grabbing my lapel. Maybe he's getting ready to do something else or whatever. You know? uh, if you let Kevin do this to you, he will do this to you as well. This is a good uh, old judo technique too. Okay. I'm going to grab uh, Daniel's sleeve here. I, I prefer to grab it up near the top. Right. I'm going to post on my right hand this way. My, my objective is I want to get him just a little bit to lean this way. Once he leans this way, I'm also looking to separate his elbow from his knee slightly on this side, all right? Once we get here, I'm going to put my knee up. This will look all fancy, but it's not really that fancy. I'm just going to go here, here, drive. I drive with my knee forward, and then I hip in and throw my leg over, okay? Once you get here, if you guys are in good position, just finish it like this, knees tight, hips forward slowly, okay? So let's do it again, guys. It's just a... The flying this arm bar I'm gonna ever do probably nowadays, right? Um, <laughs> Daniel's playing open guard. He's being a little sloppy with his hand here. Call it, grab it. Okay. Control here. Upwards. Here. Left foot comes up. Maybe the guy thinks, you know, I'm gonna try to pass his guard or whatever. I just need to get past this. Or and then come forward with my hips. Once my hips come forward, I need to make sure that my knee kicks or my foot kicks on his armpit. I'm gonna let go over nice and easy. Hips forward. That's it. And if the guy holds on, of course, he's going to facilitate the finish. If he goes like this, you guys are going to get a grip right center. Make pretty good sense, guys. Let's just spend a few minutes working on that one. This is kind of for fun, but it's going to start you thinking about this particular style of armbar. We're going to get into some kind of a more sophisticated stuff after this. All right.